confusing, there's a decent chance that that might be an emotional thing that you're trying to explain because it's a lot harder to explain emotions. There's nothing to tie it to. Mm -hmm. Emotions are floating around. They're up there. (laughs) They're right. You can't tie a point to it. You can't say, well, it's because of this thing over here because that thing, when you try to tie to it, it's, it's floating around and you can't really get that rope around it. It doesn't really hang on. Have you, you've heard me talk about the explanation effort meter? Yeah. This is a classic, right? Yeah. If it's really hard for me to explain to you why I want to use this plan or why I want to go in this direction, and I'm getting, oh, I'm telling you, and but you're just looking at me and shaking your head like, I don't get it. Mm-hmm. There's a good chance that the thing that I'm, the thing that I want to do is not logical but emotional. Yeah. So, if you find yourself using language or having a hard time explaining or your language becomes emotional, right? Because that definitely happens. I mean, it's so clear, so clear. If I'm getting emotional when I'm describing something and they just don't understand and I'm getting frustrated, 